Good morning and welcome to Island Adventures. What are we doing today, Val? Well, sad face, it's our last day in Pigeon Forge. So this morning we're going to start out with a pancake breakfast. Uh -huh. One of the many pancake places in the Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg area. Um, we're going to do that. I think the plan is to go over to the island uh -huh. and ride the big Ferris wheel, probably do some shopping, and we're going to go to Hatfield and McCoy dinner show, and then we have to drive home. But let's have some fun first. All right, let's go. We have made it to Flapjacks and we are hungry. Let's go inside and get some pancakes. What did you get? I got the sticky bun pancakes with a side of bacon. Mmm, it's massive. And I got sausages and eggs with pancakes. Let's dig in. So Val, what did you think of your pancakes? Two thumbs up. They were delicious. They had everything. They had eggs and meats and omelets and chicken and waffles and a ton of different pancakes. Very good. Highly recommend. Flapjacks. Now what? Oh, now we are right across the street from the island. We're going to go to the island and ride the big wheel and probably do some shopping, maybe play in the arcade. Let's go. So we've made it to the island. Ooh, look at those clouds. And uh, yeah, we just got a little brief rain. So we're hoping it don't rain again. But just in case, Valerie has her umbrella. I do. So here at the island, they have a, a lot of parking spots out back. You can ride a tram up there or you can just walk like Val and I. We certainly need to get our steps in today, don't we, Val? After those pancakes, absolutely. Nice bridge that you cross over on your way to the island. Take a look at the uh, river here. Uh, Valerie, I know that you're very well read. What river is this? <laughs> I have no idea. It's the Smoky Mountain Creek. <laughs> there you go. Makes sense to us. Oh, I do. I think. Actually, it might be like the Little Pigeon River. I think that's a thing. Wow, she did know. That is not a bad walk at all, folks. We got here right when it opened at 10 o'clock. You see the wheel up there. Valerie's waiting on me because I'm running behind filming some stuff. We'll see what she has to say when I get here. When I get up to her. Hi, Val. Hi, where you been? Are you ready to go? <laughs> Let's go. They are having a fountain show right now. <laughs> to avoid a copyright strike, I will now play my own generic music to the rest of this video clip. There is Paula Deans with Val and I have actually eaten that before. So good. I think that's Valerie's very favorite here. It's really good. Tons of food. It's delicious. We have decided to get on the wheel right away because there might be some more storms coming in. We want to make sure we get on the wheel. All right, tickets are purchased. Are right, you ready to go, Val? Let's go. So, Val, yeah. by your estimations, not even half the size of the one in Vegas? Oh, that one was very tall. I could probably Google it. What's the comparisons? All right, thank you, Google. This one is a, just over 200 feet high. The high roller in Vegas we were on was 550 feet high. So, yeah, less than half. We made it on. Yay, let's go around a few times. Up we go. This one goes a lot faster than the one in Vegas, that's for sure. A lot faster. Look at the view of the mountains.
we get to the top. How was the wheel? Two thumbs up, fun as always. We've done it a couple times. Um, it was nice, we went around four full loops and everybody loaded at once. There were just four families. So we didn't have that, you know, awkward slow one where you're loading. We just got in and took off. Now where to? We're gonna do a little shopping in the Island Trading Post. This is a really big store. Valerie loves her magnets. I do, I have several Smoky Mountain magnets. Not even really going to the park this trip. Do you believe? So we found more of these name magnets and I'm like, E, Emily, Emma, oh my gosh, they don't have Ed. They're out of order. <laughs> Valerie's not too happy. They don't have Valerie. <laughs> Stupid store. <laughs> this shirt is Valerie. She is a bear in the morning. Just don't talk to me before I've had coffee. Got it. You find something? Why do I think I need a whole new wardrobe every time we go on vacation? But yeah, this shirt is cute. It's a simple little Tennessee. And then on the back, Tennessee Great Smoky Mountains. It's cute. But well, like Valerie said, it's not $36 worth of cute. No. You did find some really good deals at Vera Bradley yesterday. I did. I actually got this bag right here, plain black, roses inside. Regularly, I think 85 and I got it for 27 And I got one of the little wallet things. It was regularly 49 and I got it for 10 So I did buy some stuff at a great price. But I guess it does matter where you are. Yeah, I was just saying, I wouldn't hesitate to spend $36 on a shirt at Disney World. What can I say? The store is redeemed. There's a Valerie. I like how they're like the letters. Those are cute, actually. Every store has an Edward. Uh, maybe not. They have an Eli. The E's start with Eli. That's crazy I town. I guess they don't have an Edward. These are kind of fun. Ed is old. He was born in 1968. 911 was started that year. Wow, you're old. Packers won Super Bowl II. Hey Jude by the Beatles was a hit song. Whew, he's old. I'm much younger. Born in 1977. The Atari 2600 console came out that year. Looks like Dancing Queen by ABBA was a hit song. The Yankees won the World Series. Star Wars Episode 4 came out that year and they actually thought it was going to be a flop. It was not. So the island area has tons of things to do, especially if you have kids. Over here kind of behind us, there's a mirror maze. There's like bumper cars, it looks like. Tons of like little carnival games behind me. In addition to the wheel, there's an arcade that I'm guessing Ed's going to want to go in. Um, lots of shops, restaurants, bars, that kind of stuff. So we've actually been to this place and getting into it was horrifying. You're literally going like this up the side of a mountain. Really cute and a lot of fun once you got there, but very scary getting there. We're going to mosey into this store. Made in the USA Patriot Peddler. This should be Valerie's favorite part, the Market Street. Right, Val? Lots of little shops and like a lot of candy shops here. So let's check it out. Oh boy. She found Disney stuff already. Do I need a Disney turvis? Farmhouse decor and gifts. That's where Valley wants to go. So that's what we'll do. More trucker hats. They love their trucker hats here in Tennessee. Uh, 
Valerie, I think you're making fun of me. He keeps liking these tie-dye shirts. I do, I can't help it. There's one that's mostly like blue and green, not pink, purple, and yellow. I really like it. We can get it for you. Well, let's see how much it costs. Tie-dyes are one for $14.99, two for $24.99. That's quite the good deal. You find me a hat? I know, I think so. You like it? It's khaki, Great Smoky Mountains, Tennessee. It is not a mesh trucker hat, it's Velcro. It's cute. Let's go in the puzzled store. If you've watched any of our videos, you know that Valerie loves puzzles. I love buying puzzles and starting puzzle puzzles. I'm not so good at finishing the puzzles. So true. Well, look at these. You can like sort by color. I used to have one of these mats. You can start the puzzle and then roll it up and then unroll it and keep going. I don't know what happened to it. They have University of Oregon, Illinois. Let's see if they have University of the great state of Ohio. Go Bucks. They do not have Ohio State here. Huh? How about that? Not only puzzles, but games. Dr. Seuss Monopoly. Now we're going to go in the Kryptonite Character Store. So what's this store have? Um, all kinds of stuff. They've got Disney merch. They've got, I saw some Harry Potter, Peanuts, just random. Like we've got Gremlins, E.T., various movies, all kinds of stuff. I love Winnie the Pooh, and we're always like, adventures out there, begin adventure. And this is kind of a different way to say it. There's always more to discover. We're not face first in a thing of honey, but travel. Battleground tactical laser tag, if you're into that kind of thing. It's here on the Market Street. All right, I think that's gonna do it for us at the island. Ed decided the arcade didn't have any games he wanted to play, but there are lots of arcades on the parkway. So I think we're gonna head to another one and see if it has more of the games he likes. They also have a hotel you can stay in, Margaritaville Island Hotel. We gonna do that someday, Val? Uh, maybe someday, they're pretty expensive. We have arrived. I think it's called the Rockin' Racing Arcade. They also have go-karts, but we're gonna go in the building and check out the arcade. So I like playing these kind of coin games where the coin drops off and you win some prizes. Let's see how I do. I was kind of looking for the retro Donkey Kong, asteroids, that kind of thing, you know, El Dig Dug, elevator action, but none here, so I guess this will do. Let's play the Wizard of Oz. Let's see how he does. Ooh, got some fallen. Ooh, a whole bunch fell. He is committed to that spot. Ooh, it has not paid off. So the goal is to get as many tickets as you can to hopefully purchase something at the end with your tickets. So we're just going to go around and play some games. Let's bounce. Ooh, I think the goal is to make them all blue, maybe? Oh, it's only 30 seconds. How many can he get? Let's see if I can beat him. So I got 51 points. Now Valerie wants to see if she can beat me. Let's see how she does, folks. You go, Val. Just start throwing. Here she goes. Man, she's doing great. What the world? There's no way you can beat me. Oh my goodness, she's going to beat me, folks. She's good at this game. She's already beat me. Good job, Val. 12 seconds to go. I got more time and no balls. What the heck? Valerie beat me. 
she got 57. I have no idea what the goal was, but I won. All right, we're gonna play, I don't know what this is called. Pixel Chase. To win the Pixel Challenge. Pixel Chase. Who can do it? Another shot. 100. I get 60 points. Let's see how Valerie does. Let's see if Valerie can beat 11,100. You can do it. Come on, Val. You can do it, Val. Come on, you go, Val. Goodness gracious. What's wrong with your accuracy? Come on, Val. Keep throwing. Keep going. Keep going. I still killed you. Give it another shot. Yeah. Holy cow, you're beating, yeah. beating me at everything. <laughs> she got 90 points. Alright, it's going to play one of those basketball games. I'm not playing this one. I know I'm terrible. NBA hoops. Valerie's going to try her hand at some ice ball. Really, it's ski ball, but they call it ice ball. You go, Val. Come on, Val. 9,000 right now. 11,000. Nice job. Uh-oh. Go for the big one. Valerie's gonna play Plinko. Come on down! Okay. They also have go karts. Had a good time. It's called the Rockin' Raceway Arcade. Highly recommend. Air conditioning was great. Bathroom was clean. Uh, we had fun and we played some games off camera too and gave our tickets to a little girl so she can buy us stuffed animal or something. Um, but now we're on to the thing that Ed's been looking forward to the whole weekend. We're gonna go to Hatfield and McCoy's. All right, we made it to Hatfield and McCoy's dinner show. We're gonna head on in. We'll probably show you a little bit of the building and kind of the setup. We're not planning on filming much of the show. I'm not sure if you're allowed to, but we want to sit back and enjoy it anyway. So we'll tell you how it is afterwards. We are in. Made it in. It's really big in here. There's the stage. We're sitting a couple rows up. There's Valerie. Nice. Ready for some food. All right, what did they bring us, Val? So they're starting us off with, they, she said, creamy vegetable soup. And we've got some dinner rolls. I will say our show's at two o'clock. We got lying outside to get our tickets about one o'clock. It's 1.15, we're already sat, getting our drinks and starting off with some soup. We forgot to show you our food before we started digging in. Oops, 
it's all you can eat we have mashed potatoes corn on the cob this bucket is chicken i have this gigantic chicken breast got some pulled pork over by ed and then there's coleslaw good so far oh yeah Now you McCoy's a good editor before I call the sheriff on you. Thank you for a day, Val. It was a really fun day. We started out with that pancake breakfast. Uh -huh. um, we did some shopping. We went to the island and rode the Great Smoky Mountain Wheel. That's fun as always. Um, we played in the arcade for a little while. And then we went to Hatfield and McCoy's. Uh -huh. Food was delicious yep. as always. The show was really good. Uh -huh. um, it's just a good time. Highly recommend if you're in the area. It's a really, it's a family fun entertaining show and delicious food and as always thanks for watching our videos and we'll see you on the next adventure bye